What's up, y'all? It's Darth Dracul coming back at you live from PlanetSchnars.com. Planet, S-H-N-A-R-S.com. Check us out for more videos like this. Galaxies, variety of other things. Um, today, what we're going to be going over here, this is more Dustiner with two of my boys, more of my Calamitous Clan mates. You got Captain A. Bugs, and you got Random Hero. Um, I'm going to rock the Inward Lamp, Scout Rifle, uh, Ruin Wings, my usual loadout. This is my beast, and my beast loadout, as I call it. This is my Titan. When people need help, because I, I don't even need what we're going for here, this is the Black Spindle Exotic Sniper Rifle, very similar to the Black Hammer from year one. Um, this is year two, obviously, at my 310 rating. I haven't played since here. I think this might have been the last time I played, so it's been a couple months. Uh, I haven't played much, but uh, my Titan was about a 310 or a 311, but anyway. Um, I don't need the spindle. I'm just being a good friend helping people out. The Titan's a beast because it's a sunbreaker. The sunbreaker is ridiculous. You can just flat out, in this clear out the room, you know, a lot of you just roll in, you throw a hammer there, you throw a hammer here, and people just start dropping for you, and the herbs start spitting out your arse. And your teammates pick him up, and they start running around doing arse specials, and it gets kind of crazy. Anyway, um, this is the hardest mission of any game I think I've maybe ever done in my life. Um, this is a hidden mission within a mission. Uh, I believe it's called Lost to Light. Um, you do the mission like normal, but then in the end, as opposed to going toward the last area and then heading out, like they want you to, you go up toward the Skull Lost Strike. Um, <clears throat> and that's where we're going to go. What I do here is I am taking my sword and I'm changing the capacity of it. You take the sword and you take that last node, equip the top one, pop a heavy ammo synth, and then switch the node back so you have the power instead. And what that does is you'll get extra ammo. Um, it's only a few extra. It, if you're in the heat of battle, it's not worth it. But since we're stopped here, I figured I would do it. Um, a quick little loophole. Uh, they may have fixed it since then. Like I said, I haven't played in two months. But you would take your sword, switch it so it could carry the most capacity of uh, ammo, pop a heavy ammo synth, and then switch your sword back to your liking. Um, or leave it how it is, whatever. But uh, anyway, that way you can have the most heavy ammo. Um, for those of you that have got the Black Spindle or know what I'm talking about here, or maybe this is someone's first time, this mission is a real biatch. Okay? It's evil. It's, it's past quasi-evil. It's, it's messed up. All right? It's going to mess with your head. When you see this, it's crazy. Anybody that says you don't need skills to play a video game, watch this clip and bite me. Okay? Because... Yeah, um, what we're doing here is we're honestly discussing strategy. Bugs is probably smoking a cigarette, and when you play with Captain A. Bugs, you're usually waiting on him for a minute or two every now and again. But in his defense, he does own a business, so he gets a lot of calls. But anyway, um, we're, I'm sure, discussing strategy right now. Um, looks like Heroes in his loadout, but we're always, if you feel like dancing, come on. Anyway, uh, it's a fun thing about Destiny is all the dance emotes and what you can do. It's, it's good times for those of you that haven't played or don't know. Um, the thriller dance you can do. That's what we're doing. All right, but anyway, we're going to roll. This is a time mission uh, for those of you that don't know uh, for the Black Spindle. Once again, this is seriously the hardest thing I've, I've done in this game. Um, you come strolling up to the top like the normal school last strike, but it's not going to be like normal. It's going to be taken the whole rest of the way through this. Um, and the timer starts as soon as this door opens and this little dialogue kicks. In the top right, you see the checkpoint hits. Varric's name shows up. Kill the Taken. Our timer's going to pop, and there she be. So we have a little under 10 minutes to Schnars to Fnirs and up in this room, or Holy of the Ghoul, depending on what parlance you prefer. Anyway, um, the Titan, as you see, is a man-child. Um, and his <laughs> special right there just stop. Every time. Every time you see me, the hammer just so hype. Anyway, uh, you just roll through the room, start banging everything out. I mean, you literally just as fast as you can, as quick as you can, because everything's timed. Um, the best strategy is to have two crazy aggressive people roll up front. Best person sit back. I mean, it's just what we did. I think it's the best, though, because I've done this mission countless times. I helped a lot of people get the spindle. Um, anybody out there, um, when I start playing again, which will be soon, once I get this website up and running and everything rolling, which will be very soon here, almost done with PlanetSchnars.com, um, I'll be able to start gaming again. So I'll be able to stream live and etc. etc. So make sure you keep an eye out for old Darth Dracul and his calamitous clan mates. Um, once again, proceeding through, get through that room and you keep balling, keep schnarzing, keep killing. Um, I solar sorting it still up. As you see, the uppercut maneuver is phenomenal. It pretty much saws through anything in one hit. Those guys would take 100 rounds if it wasn't for the sword. Um, so just rolling out with a sword, it's it's crucial. Um, the advantage of having the Titan loadout, it's very nice. 
because the ruined wings are just so clutch. There's just purple drink for days and days. Um, once again, I'm playing with random here on Captain A Bugs. Two men amongst children here. Men amongst men. However, this thing goes. <laughs> I know they can handle their business. I'm not even too worried about them, to be honest. I'm just doing my own thing, thing, just killing everything in my sight. Um, as you can see, you can punch things with the Titan, if you didn't know that, or if you're not familiar with Destiny. That's one of the reasons he's my favorite character. Just punch something right in the face. Classic. Anyway, um, there's three main wizards in this room, I believe. Uh, we just crushed two of them, and then I got annihilated and lit on that no bueno. It's the no bueno, amigo. Anyway, I'll wait for my teammates to get me up. When one of us die, we have a thing we say. We go, Guardian Clown. That was actually the name of our clan there for a while was Guardian Clowns of America. Of America. Because every time we beat a raid, we beat it for Merc. Just so you know. Anybody that's been a part of my clan or has played with me, you know what I'm talking about. It's always for Merca. Sometimes for Chad, but mostly for Merca. Anyway, um, rolling along. This room is just such a con... Uh, it's, it's a good time. It's tempestuous, to say the least. Uh, got bugs out, now we're rolling hole again. You want to come up here. Make sure you get these snipers out of the way, because they are just a royal pain. That's why the sword's out. I ain't playing anymore. I'm tired of getting sniped. One hit, even though they're yellow, the lieutenants, as they call them. That uh, coming down to get old hero up. And we got a guardian clown. Guardian back up on his feet. We're whole. We, as we call it in our clan, we're whole. We're good. When you're whole, everyone's up. You're rolling. Hammer time, one more. Um, use your special as much as possible, especially in this in this area. Um, the more orbs you create, the more you help everybody. They really nerfed uh, what orbs can do for your character in year two as opposed to year one, but it, it needed it, in my honest opinion. It was too easy to keep getting your specials back and forth. Um, anyway, like I was saying, just make sure you bust your specials out. Our strategy here, as we discussed uh, this time through, we're going to be all on attacking specials. Warlock is not on self-res. Warlock is on his little <laughs> Emperor Palpatine Fnirzen, um, so he can create orbs for us. Uh, I mean, it's never a wrong idea to go with self-res. The problem is... It's a special you usually sit on until you die, so if you don't die, you're not using it, and then you sometimes get overly aggressive, but anyway, um, we're all on attacking specials, so trying to make orbs for each other, round and round we go. You see Hero busting some out, now I have my special, and I'm going to bust some out, and then round and round we go. That is the point of Destiny, that's why it's a team game, it's why in the raids, it's crucial to make orbs. You'll see pictures on my page, you'll see pictures everywhere, my clan and I, we pride ourselves on orbs created, we say all the time. Rule number one, don't die. Rule number one in Destiny is don't die. Rule number two is make orbs and think smart. Make orbs, think smart. Basically, think like a shortstop. Think about what you're gonna do with that ball before you get it. Like right here, we knew right away, as soon as we cleared that left side out enough, we were coming up. So I called out, we're communicating the whole time. Communication is key. Our strategy was clear the room out on the left a little bit, jump up to the boss, Schnar Sam as much as we could. You see all of us swords out. We're blaring. We're, we're hitting him. I'm using the solar sword to stun him while they're using the other two swords to the vortex void spin move of Bucharest, as I call it. And now we're all dead. However, you do notice the boss is dead as well. Um, it was speculation at first. You just needed to kill the boss to get the spindle. But no, no. It's a fire sale in this room. It's everything's got to go, everything's got to die. All those little black balls, like the gauntlet houses, for people who played gauntlet back in the day, if I mentioned that or not. Um, guys will keep spawning out of those circular orb-looking fnirzins. You want to keep, make sure those are your high priority. I'm um, pretty sure we had bugs on that duty right now on the right side. I'm on it on the left. Heroes floating back and forth in the middle behind us and just helping fire on each side. Um, once again, for anybody that says no skill is involved in video games, you can bite me because this is crazy hard. And the sad thing is, this is nerfed. It was harder than this when I got my spindle. Way harder than this. This was easier. But anyway, I digress. Um, one of those black houses I can see out in the distance there. I'm sure I'm about to take care of it. There we go. Um, the inward lamp scout rifle is what I'm using here one more time. It's, it's a beast. There's no elemental damage. They pretty much did away with that in year two for primaries. Again, they may have changed that since I stopped playing in November. Um, Festival of the Lost was the last time I really played. Um, good job making orbs there. Here I just busted out eight. Bugs is feeding off that, making his special, and now here I come with my special. Once again, it's what you do in Destiny. You feed off of your specials. Um, even if you're playing with randoms, people not without a headset, I mean, everyone should know this. Your goal is to keep making orbs. Help your teammates out. It's a team game. Nobody does anything by themselves in this game, unless you're playing by yourself. <laughs> when you're rolling with three, you roll as three. 
You notice we keep rejoining every now and again. When you're in the red, it's important to stay alive. Once again, our clan rule one, stay alive. It's, it's funny, it's a joke, it seems stupid, but you forget it sometimes. You, you get overly aggressive, you want to shoot stuff. Uh, I get excited about my killing, boss. You know, I just want to shoot things, boss. So, you know, it's intelligent to make sure that stay alive. Uh, you waste about 20, 30 seconds dropping dead, so, uh, you know, staying on your feet it helps you out with an extra 10, 30 seconds max that you're helping with firepower. So anyway, we almost have this room cleared out, and this is where I'm about to go into some Darth Vader cool craziness. Um, we got a little less than three minutes left on our timer, as I said, and as you notice, this mission is just insanely hard. I'm about to drop. I got bugs up, though, so one up, one down. Um, bugs is going to regulate and schnarr some things up as he's the last one alive. Hero's going to respawn here soon, I imagine, and Bugs is running back down around. Um, I really love Destiny, the free flow of it, the, the feel of it, the interactive environment with the enemies and with your teammates. It, it's it's amazing. Um, like I said, this mission is pretty much this game to the um theory. Uh, it, it's the hardest mission I've played. Uh, I've done all the raids. I haven't done the challenge modes, granted, um, but this is the hardest thing that I've done in this game up to this point. Uh, that's a purple drink. Make sure you get that for your sword right there. And I'm hunting any last guys down. Special, special, making orbs. Usually you like to make your orbs near your teammates, but on this mission you don't really have a choice. You just gotta keep moving and keep flying. Like I said, your best bet is two aggressive, one back. Um, I know everyone misses Gallahorn. You can just roll in his room, just everything down, but unfortunately, we don't have that option. Uh, you're too late to go from us, you bastard boss. Anyway, I miss old galley. But everyone used it, I get the point. But anyway, purple drink, swallow that up, make sure you get that, get your boy up right there, books back up on his feet right there, boy, and then get up here and spin the goddamn above him, man, let's get him, man. Spin move, uh, the difference I switch swords, uh, the solar sword is good for bosses, stunning them, but this is really a room clear. I mean, the vortex, void, spin, Bucharestian, back pest, back pedal and hammer, Face, fist, crunch, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it has a lot of names. Um, you just roll around and, and just hammer rooms. So, uh, the Titan with the Void Sword and uh, his hammer special pretty much is a one man army with harmony. And there you go. They both got their black spindles. As I said, I'd already had mine, so I was just doing some volunteer work. But that's what Destiny's about helping people out. What do you need? What do you got to do? Let's go do it. That's what I love about the Destiny community. Um, if you're looking for some people to play with, hit me up, Darth underscore Dracool on the PlayStation 4 network. <sighs> Stay tuned for more videos coming up soon, y'all. PlanetSchnars.com. S-H-N-A-R-S dot com. I guess I gotta turn the